Hello everyone, today I'll show you how the Nikon FM2 light meter works. So let's proceed. You can see here there's a shutter speed down. So this is how you control the exposure. It's by tuning here the shutter speed and also the aperture. You can either control the aperture or you can control the shutter speed in order to change the exposure and uh, you can determine like what exposure value you want so to first activate the light meter you need to turn it on so with the Nikon FM2 how you turn on the camera is that you just pull this uh, shutter lever then uh, the camera will be on then Okay, so you can see that there's something special about the Nikon FM2 camera is that it's actually very, very mechanical and analog. Where you can see that, okay, let's say I change the shutter speed. See? You can see that the shutter speed changes when I change the shutter speed uh, in a very manual way. You can see the left side. See, yeah? I change the shutter speed. 500 250 it's all it's very it's fully mechanical you can see the same goes to the aperture where you can see the top side so when I change the aperture there's a prism that's located on the top part of the viewfinder where you can see the you can see the aperture as it's being changed okay when I move, when I move the aperture, it changes. It's mechanical. It's a mechanical display. Okay, all right. So let's get to the light meter. So now I want you to look at the right side of the screen. See, you see, there's a plus and there's a plus. See, when I change the speed. the exposure value change from plus to zero so when it's zero it's indicates that it's actually in like properly exposed right so when I change the aperture as well you can see that it also corresponds to the aperture not just a shutter speed see you can determine then like you want to expose it like just in the middle or slightly overexposed or slightly underexposed see zero, mi zero minus zero minus means slightly underexposed zero plus means slightly overexposed and zero is the exact value but of course like i think this light meter is more towards uh how to say evaluative metering so if you want to do certain things maybe you might want to slightly over or slightly under depends on your what style of uh, photography you want to go for yeah so there you go this is how the light meter for the fm2 works and if you have any questions please feel free to let me know and uh yeah, thank you so much everyone for dropping by and see you guys next time. Bye. God bless.